Dependence on renewable energy sources creates a lot of volatility in the process of production as well as pricing of green hydrogen. In this video, we are going to look at a short demonstration on how Simulation X could be used to accurately simulate the physics across different domains while giving key insights into commercial aspects of generating green hydrogen. The renewable energy sources can be modeled from the elements in the Green City Library. The network shown in this model contains the ambient element, the photovoltaic and the wind park elements that are connected to the local grid through a PV converter. This network simulates the energy generated by renewable energy sources based on the weather conditions during a particular day in a specific region. The ambience element has four major functions within the Green City Library. It allows the users to select the specific city and choose the weather data from the database Alternately, import the measurement data for ambient temperature, solar radiation, wind speed, and wind direction. The definition of time base, date, season, initial parameters related to the simulation time period, the calculation of solar inclination angle depending on the simulated season, and the correction of solar radiation measurement regarding the measurement angle, the definition of ground and air characteristics. The photovoltaics element can be parameterized with information such as alignment and the dimensions of the PV module and the number of PV modules connected in series and in parallel. The wind park element can be parameterized with the type of location, its electrical configuration, wind characteristics and the nominal system parameters. The energy generated by the wind and the solar plants is then fed to the local grids by the means of a converter. Now let's look at hydrogen generation. The hydrogen generation is modeled by a pneumatic circuit that contains the electrolyzer element which simulates electrolysis, the process of decomposing water into hydrogen and oxygen with the help of electricity, which in this case is generated by renewable energy sources. The electrolyzer element allows data sheet based parameterization and can simulate the impact of temperature and pressure on the electrolyzer's performance. It also simulates the electrochemical behavior such as open circuit voltage, activation over potential and ohmic resistance. Heat transfer of the electrolyzer can be considered optionally. A polarization curve is usually used to describe the performance of an electrolyzer. This curve can be obtained through measurement data from an existing electrolyzer but is often missing in the manufacturer's documentation. In this model, the polarization curve is automatically generated based on parameters at nominal conditions. The result can always be compared with the real polarization curve and can be adjusted through advanced parameters. The hydrogen generated by the electrolyzer is cooled by a heat exchanger before being compressed by a compressor. A generic heat exchanger is intentionally used to model this heat exchanger as it allows the user to calculate heat exchange even when the geometry is unknown. This kind of parameterization enables the user to determine heat exchange required in the process, thus aiding in the selection of an appropriate heat exchanger. The pressurized hydrogen leaving the compressor is cooled again and is stored in a storage tank. The consumption of the hydrogen is simulated based on demand curves. Now let's look at the cooling system. The cooling system contains a centrifugal pump and a thermostatic valve. The centrifugal pump's volume flow is based on pressure drop and the rotational speed. The thermostatic valve is a three-way valve with internal temperature control. It is used so that the water from the pump could either be mixed or diverted depending on the temperature. Both these elements can be characterized based on available information. Through this setup, the generation of hydrogen can be compared to its consumption, which allows the users to easily size all the components appropriately to ensure uninterrupted supply of hydrogen, despite the changes in the amount of electricity generated because of the change in weather conditions. The process efficiency of the entire system can be visualized using a Sankey diagram. 
here the blue line indicates the electrical energy generated the green line indicates the hydrogen energy and the red line indicates the energy lost in heat additionally with the sizing information the capital costs and with the operational information the running costs of the system can be also estimated this ends the short demonstration about simulating the green hydrogen production process Hope you've gained some insights about benefits of system simulation using Simulation X. If you're interested in evaluating the tool or if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.